The last thing we have to tidy up is the product rule for rational functions. Now back in the good old days, they used to teach us something called the quotient rule. And the quotient rule dealt with things that look like this. Uh, in other words, you have a function on top and it's being divided by a function on the bottom. And there is a whole quotient rule that deals with that. Now the quotient rule could just be substituted for the product rule. And so in this curriculum, we just have to turn this into a product rule problem so that we can use our first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first rule. And so it's pretty straightforward. I'm going to turn this into y equals sine x, which is the top function. And instead of writing 3x squared plus 2x minus 3 to the exponent 2 on the bottom, I'm going to change that exponent to a negative 2, which puts it on the top. And now I'm all ready to proceed knowing that my first function v is sine x and my second function u is 3x squared plus 2x minus 3 to the exponent negative 2. Now, uh, I won't go into the details just to keep it nice and short, but you'll notice that in terms of u, we have to do the derivative of the outside using the power rule and multiply by the derivative of the inside. So u is a chain rule problem. All right, good luck with that.